सो दिस स्टोरी इज अबाउट फाउंडर ऑफ इस्कॉन एंड भक्ति वेदांत बुक ट्रस्ट ए सी भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी श्रीला प्रभुपाल सो ही स्टार्टेड हिज बिजनेस एट द एज ऑफ सेवेंटी फ्रॉम न्यूयॉर्क बट ही बिलोंग्स टू बैंगॉल सो यू माइट बी थिंकिंग दैट फ्रॉम अ सन्यासी वॉट वी कैन लर्न सो वी कैन लर्न अ लॉट लाइक फ्रॉम हिज स्ट्रैटेजीज वी कैन लर्न strong determination he had like because of this determination he went to new york at the age of 70 and uh, on the way he was having two heart attacks as well he was uh, traveling in a cargo ship for 32 days then perfect vision of your goal so he was having perfect vision why i'm saying this because uh, once when he had nothing he was uh, sitting in a park so one person asked him that who are you so he told that i am founder acharya of iskon and i have 10000 disciples but he had nothing at that time and after one year he had 10000 disciples he had uh, he was the founder of iskon and bbt and also he was uh, constructing many temples uh, like translating many books distributing it so uh, it was expanding a lot then time management so he was very uh, determined towards his vision and his vision was to uh, translate all the like mostly uh, bhagavad gita bhagavatam and whatever um, uh, scriptures are necessary for humanity so his uh, vision was to change uh, to translate it in many language and to distribute in the whole world so he used to sleep only 2 hours and he used to work 22 hours so then leadership so he was very good leader and uh, nowadays uh, if you search then modi ji yogi adityanath and uh, founder of uh, uh, like owner of ford company and many more leaders are uh, praising him and following him so he was that kind of leader also team management so he was having 10000 disciples after one year and then after it was keep on uh, expanding but his team management was very good so that uh, now also it is like managed very properly in the whole world then rapid expansion so as i have already told you that uh, in one year only he has uh, 10000 followers then uh, after like in 11 years he started from 70 uh, when he was 70 years old so in 11 years he encircled the world uh, 14 times and he built 108 temples even in pakistan he built the temple 14 temples and uh, also he has like uh, 80 plus books uh, he has written and many more things so it it was like uh, expanded very rapidly also sustainability because we can see that he is not physically present uh, now but uh, iskon is uh, sustained today as well and it's uh, it uh, keeps on growing day by day so we can learn a lot from him now if uh, i uh, tell you about early life of shilavropad so his childhood name was abhay and he was very beloved child of his parents and uh, when he was uh, at the age of 14 his mother got died and after that like he graduated from a scottish church college but he denied taking degree to support non cooperation movement of gandhi ji then he was not sanyasi from the beginning but he had pharmacy business at that time then his spiritual journey starts when he met with bhakti siddhant swami maharaj first time in 1922 so earlier he was like these gurus are imposters they are not genuine they are doing this this but when he met bhakti siddhant swami maharaj he immediately accepted him as his spiritual master because the kind of energy the kind of spirit he has and um, the way he was uh, uh, presenting the things explaining with examples and the truthful uh, nature of bhakti bhakti siddhant swami maharaj 
सो दैट ही इमीडिएटली एक्सेप्टेड हिम एज हिज स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर ऑल्सो भक्ति सिद्धांत महाराज रिकोगनाइज स्वामी प्रोपात दैट ही इज वेरी गुड एट इंग्लिश एंड ही टोल्ड हिम दैट यू शुड गो टू द बेस्ट इन वर्ल्ड टू प्रीच दिस फिलोसफी ऑल्सो यू यू शुड ट्रांसलेट भगवद गीता इन इंग्लिश सो दैट सो दैट होल वर्ल्ड कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस then he started translating bhagavad gita he spent one year because uh, that time there were no typewriters or computers so he uh, started translating whole bhagavad gita manually it took him one year then after what happened one day he was outside and his wife sold all the translations in exchange for tea so then also he did not say anything the kind of uh, what to say i'm not getting that word the kind of thing he has that he did not say anything to his wife even he heard that he has in a lot of uh, uh, like a lot of time he has spent a lot of uh, efforts he made then also he did not say anything and uh, he again started translating it and he was living in uh, at that time in vrindavan then his journey uh, towards new york starts now so at the age of 70 with 40 rupees only he had he headed towards the dream of his spiritual master like uh, his spiritual master was having dream as i told you earlier bhakti siddhan swami prabhupad that uh, one person should go to western world and to preach this indian philosophy to all over the world so he just uh, had this thing in his mind so it, that's why he started this in this age then after 32 days of spending in cargo ship he reached to new york and uh, in between he was having he, he got two heart attacks also but he was so much determined that he reached to new york and that time there was war going on between uh, america and vietnam and uh, american their uh, hippies came these um, hippies were like they were not wearing any clothes they were taking drugs and like um, troubling people and uh, they were very troublesome for american government so uh, propat thought that why not to start with uh, these hippies if you want to make any change why to not change with you know most degraded section so propat started changing these hippies and uh, these hippies used to uh, trouble propat like they used to smoke on him they used to trouble him a lot but uh, in exchange propat was loving them a lot propat was uh, making uh, some food preparations and uh, giving them and also while they were eating so propat was uh, giving lectures also they uh, he was guiding also so in this way uh, hippies turned to happies like they have accepted the philosophy also they became the followers of propat and then like i told uh, after one year only propat had 10000 followers in america so pro- what propat did here that propat told his followers that uh, two people will uh, go in every country to expand this philosophy to uh, propagate this philosophy so uh, the uh, the trust and love propad had for his disciples also disciples has this so because of this this uh, movement got expanded so rapidly in this way also when uh, they have not uh, money then they they have started revenue generation how they have started agarbatti business also uh, book distribution in in this way in 11 years he encircled the globe for 14 times he made uh, 108 temples he he has written more than 80 books and also 10000 plus letters also in pakistan uh, 12 iskon temples he built also they have acquired mid day meal uh, scheme from government and now also iskon is feeding 14 lakh children daily so like i told that many leaders are also following propad because he was very uh, good inspiration like what i like the most in propad 
that he was never uh, like he he had not any kind of guilt uh, at the last that i should have done this thing in this way so this was like how perfect he was in his vision and also in process so uh, like steve jobs also when uh, he was not having money he used to go 7 miles uh, walking he used to walk 7 miles daily to eat his corn food then uh, ambarish das so he is uh, the founder of uh, ford company alfred ford so after meeting propat he was turned into ambarish das that he uh, that he liked the philosophy of propat the lord the teachings of propat and he also accepted it now uh, at the end of propat doctors were very uh, astonished to see that how uh, he was lying at uh, like death bed but he was he was very like how his consciousness is working Do doctors were surprised to see that he was recording lectures on dictaphone his body was very weak it was like uh, only bones were vis visible at that time also he was doing this so the love trust and honesty he spread among his disciples is continuously expanding his organization though he is physically not present hence sales is not about selling things but it's about building trust and educating people thank you thank you so much cool awesome